So the first thing that we're going to do is we have to switch over to desktop. In order to do that, I usually hit the Steam button, I go down to Power, and switch to Desktop. And now it's going to switch over to the default desktop mode. Once you're booted into the desktop, you can click on the Discover mode. And once that opens, if we click on here, we can go to Applications, and then Internet. And then we're going to go to web browsers. Now, under web browsers, you're looking for um, Edge. So we're going to scroll down until we see the Edge web browser, which is right here. Now, notice it's in beta. And then you just click on that little download icon, and it's going to go ahead and install for you. Now, once you've got it installed, you can go ahead and close the Discover thing. And what I like to do is I, I click on the... For no other better term, I call it the start menu. And then I come over here to all applications and I scroll down to, actually, if I go to internet, yeah, there's browsers right there. And I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to go down to add to Steam. Once this pops up, I'm going to scroll down until I find um, Edge. And it's really, really small, and there's the camera and microphone between me and the screen, so I'm having trouble seeing it. Let me grab my glasses. And, well, I'm not seeing it. Ah, there it is, right there. I was looking for Edge, not Microsoft Edge. Uh, so once you click on that, you can go ahead and click Add Selected Programs. So the next thing that we're supposed to do is we click on this, and if we go into System, we can launch the console. The console is essentially Terminal here. So once you have the terminal um, loaded up, you can type in the command that you see on screen. I did put it in the description down below the like button, but I do want to preface this by saying as a Linux newbie myself, normally I would not put anything into terminal that somebody told me to do on the internet, and you should make that decision for yourself. The only reason that I'm t trusting this is because it's coming directly from Microsoft and Valve is responding to this, or, or more, more specifically, Pierre Lugrify of Valve is responding to this. So you can copy and paste to get the command exactly right from the description down below, but you're going to type this command in, and you're going to press Enter. And it's going to pop up, and it's going to seem like nothing has happened. So the next thing that we have to do is launch Steam. So I'm going to go, go ahead and close my terminal. I'm going to open up Steam. And it says to go to my library and locate the uh, Edge Beta. So here's the Microsoft Edge Beta right there. And it says to right click on it and go down to Properties. Now once I'm in Properties, I have to do just a little bit more in order to get this working. If you click in this little box right here, you can change the name to Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta. Microsoft says to do this, but I don't think that it actually does anything although it's certainly not going to hurt. And then we want to find our launch options. So if we scroll down to launch options, we have to add something to the end of it. Again, down in the description, down below the like button, I'm going to paste the exact command that Microsoft is telling us to use. So once you've got that appended, you can go ahead and close this. And I'm gonna close Steam, and I'm gonna close that. I guess I must have opened it multiple times, and I'm gonna hit return to gaming mode. And now that we're in gaming mode, I'm going to uh, head to my library. I'm going to go to non-Steam, Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta. I'm going to select my layout. And I'm going to say probably gamepad with joy joystick trackpad. And let's launch. So now that I'm signed into my Microsoft account, I can just load up a game. I'm going to start up Halo Infinite. And let me get my keyboard out of the way. And we'll see how it works. Now, I've used Xbox Game Pass, or Game... Uh, cloud gaming in the past and I've always had kind of a bad experience with latency so I'm expecting the latency to, on here to not be great that's my expectation hopefully I am pleasantly surprised and this is coming from somebody who's done plenty of cloud streaming either through Stadia or GeForce Now 
Uh, I'm going to go into the campaign and I'm going to continue. Now I will say, keep in mind that I'm sitting really far away from the Steam Deck. I can, like my arms are almost 100% straight out. And as you can see, it's working and it actually doesn't feel too bad. Um, I don't know if Microsoft has done some kind of a uh, little voodoo magic behind the scenes and improved um, xCloud as a whole. But I've had very bad experiences with xCloud in the past and right now it seems to be pretty good. Uh, definitely not going to be a one-to-one. -one. There's always going to be a little bit of latency, but I'm not really feeling like the latency is bad enough that uh, that I could not play this. In fact, I feel like it's pretty good. This is impressive, and it looks great on the Steam Deck because the resolution is so small, which that also means, uh, with the lower resolution, that the... You know, you don't have to have the fastest Wi-Fi in the world in order for this to work because they're not sending uh, like a 4K resolution uh, image or anything. This is 1280 by 800, and I think that that's well. It's actually it's probably 720p if I'm honest, uh, because there's black bars at the top and at the bottom. Anyway, that's how you set up um, XCloud on your Steam Deck. Thanks for watching. And make sure you come back for more, mer for more Nerd Nest stuff. Bye, everybody.